Hello and welcome to this video explaining the MAT, which stands for the Mathematics Admissions Test. The MAT is one of the aptitude tests used for the admission process in the University of Oxford, Imperial College London and the University of Warwick. If you're applying to mathematics, computer science or other related courses in any of the aforementioned universities, then you're in the right place. So, what exactly is the MAT? Well, the MAT is a two and a half hour long written test on mathematics. Candidates take it as part of their initial application to the universities I just mentioned. The universities then make a short list of candidates based on their results in the MAT and their overall UCAS application, and then invite them for a series of interviews. The interviews are the last stage of the admissions process, after which the universities send out their admissions offers to successful students. The MAT is taken at authorised test centres all over the world. The test has two sections, the first being a multiple choice answer based section and the latter a proof based section. So let's take a look at section one, the multiple choice questions. In this section, there are a total of 10 multiple choice questions, each worth four marks. Marks are given solely for the correct answers, though students are encouraged to show any working that they please. The questions themselves range across all of the topics in the MAT syllabus and every candidate must attempt this section. In contrast, section 2 involves proof-based questions. In this section, each candidate must attempt four proof-based questions from six questions, depending on the course that they are applying to. Each question is divided into subparts, which are usually arranged in increasing order of difficulty. Each question is worth a total of 15 marks, with half marks for partial progress made in any of the parts. Depending on the course the candidate is applying to, they required to attempt different styles of question. For example, if you're applying to the University of Oxford in 2022, you have to attempt the following questions depending on your degree. If you plan to take Mathematics, Mathematics and Philosophy, or Mathematics and Statistics, you should attempt questions 2, 3, 4 and 5. If you plan to take Mathematics and Computer Science, attempt 2, 3, 5 and 6. And if you plan to take Computer Science or Computer Science and Philosophy, then you should tackle questions 2, 5, 6 and 7. If you're applying to any of the Mathematics or Joint Courses at the University of Warwick or Imperial College London, then you should attempt the questions 2, 3, 4 and 5. So let's move on and discuss the syllabus of the MAT. According to the CAAT website, MAT aims to assess the depth of mathematical understanding of the student equivalent to the fourth term of their A-levels, rather than the breadth necessarily of their knowledge. It's set with the aim of being approachable by all students, including those without further mathematics A-level, and those from other educational systems, for example the baccalaureate and Scottish hires. Before sitting the MAT, you want to make sure that you're confident in each of the topics listed in the specification. During your revision, you should identify and address any strengths and weaknesses and prioritise those accordingly. Our MAT tutors can be extremely helpful in your revision process, as they'll be able to streamline your revision and provide resources to brush up on the following topics. The topics to be tested on the MAT 2022 include polynomials, algebra, differentiation, integration, graphs, logarithms and powers, transformations, geometry, trigonometry and sequences and series. Besides these topics, for mathematics and computer science students, it is also useful to have some familiarity with induction, graph theory and linear regressions. Now for when you can take the MAT. You'll sit the test in either your school or college or a local test centre. Any school or college can register to become a test centre following the instructions on the Cambridge Assessment Admissions Testing website. Although your school has to be registered for the test, it is your responsibility to make sure that your school knows that you should be sitting the MAT. If your school or college cannot be registered to become a test centre, you will instead sit the test at a local test centre. You can use a Find a Test Centre service to locate eligible test centres nearby. The dates for the MAT 2022 are subject to change, but the registration process typically opens at the start of September 
and closes mid-October. Cambridge Assessment Admissions Testing does not charge candidates who have applied to a course requiring the NAT at the University of Oxford, but some test centres charge an admission fee for candidates sitting the MAT, which covers the cost of invigilation, dispatch costs and room hire. Contact your test centre for more details on that. There is only one MAT testing date per year, so if you don't do well as you'd hope, you would be able to retake the exam only in the next year. You take the MAT as part of your application to the universities though, so if you do retake the test as part of your new application, your chosen universities won't know that you've taken the test before. Hopefully that clears up some of the questions and hopefully the majority of the questions about the logistics of the MAT. Next time we'll be looking at how you can best prepare for the test. Good luck. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want to unlock the rest of the course, which includes over 1,000 MAT questions, 20 hours of tutorials and work solutions to all past papers, click the link in the description below.